Okay. Back at the computer. I had to go somewhere. And the last video I'd gotten a phone call, so that's why it was cut short. So, and then of course I went to bed. I had to put the monitors back up here, but anyways, we're going to get back to this now. And hopefully we can get Windows loaded on it. Or at least the beginning starting point done, so I'm going to move the monitors again. I got someone who may buy the Apple computer today. So, I need to hook it up and see if it still works, which I, sh I sure it does. The little Mac. I found me a hard drive and two CMOS batteries. I have no clue if they work or not. I just pulled them from random motherboards outside, so I don't know. Like I said, I don't know if they work or not. I'm gonna find out though. But first things first. I'm gonna put the hard drive in. Ooh. Big old spider web. Okie dokie. And this is a SATA hard drive. So, just take SATA, not IDE. Okay, that's in. I'm gonna see if one of these batteries is gonna work. I'm gonna try this one. Okay. Side is plugged in. Everything else looks all good. So, <sighs> I know y'all probably tired of me watching me load Windows 7 so many times, but. Shit, I gotta change this deal. Intel Pentium D. Okay. It is a dual core, actually. One gig. Woo! Today is not Saturday, March 31st, 2007. What is today's day? 15th. The time is, I believe, it's 2.37. default setting is right on so as you can see it says the factory default setting is right on well I don't have to say the controller driver for RAID for Windows so I'm gonna have to do the RAID the 
ATA version, ATA. This set of port is not available on this chassis. Okay. Seven on here. I know y'all probably don't want that, but oh well. I can't even get it off. I forgot which one of these is my Windows 7. I think this is a 64 bit. No, I'm a 32 bit. This is a 32 bit. I know that. to restart it so it'll pick up the drive oh shit I forgot to disable the floppy drive Where are you at? There you are. Off. Oh. I forgot to disable the floppy drive. Let the CMOS battery charge. And... We'll find out if it's good or not. So, hope it's good. Got a guy. I'm fixing to go meet. I got a guy. I'm fixing to go meet and at fries. And later today, I'm fixing to buy a two terabyte hard drive from I me. Mean, so he says it works. I'm giving 50 bucks for it. So that's 50 dollars off a new one. So. Let's get to work. She's ready to load. Yes, yes, yes. Next. Install now. I still don't know what the big hype of Windows 8 is. I mean, everybody says because it's new, they just want to jump right on it. Not necessarily true. Newer isn't always better. Oh shit, this is just ultimate. Oh well. Put it on there. Uh oh. I don't think my hard drive is any good. Let me check something real quick. Son of a bitch.
I think I know what I did wrong. And that's a, it's a oopsie mistake on a Dell. And you change the... Say to zero. Okay. Say it is zero. That's why. On a Dell, if you change the the see now it'll say set a hard drive. I was wondering why it wasn't saying that, but I really didn't catch it. So. When you, on a Dell, when you change the RAID from RAID to ATA mode, you actually have to turn on the SATA ports that are actually off. So, and I forgot to turn it on. It was an oopsie on my part, I forgot about that. That's one of them things from the BIOS. So. Well, I'm going to have to stop this video and we'll let it load. So. See y'all in a little bit.